Okay, so click on OK. So we already have the well, but we still don't know and we still do not haven't defined the location. Okay, so now the location and perforation interval for the injector needs to be defined. Okay, you make sure you are in two-dimensional view so because it's it will be easier for us to locate the the low the well and the perforation. So let's select IK to the view. Yeah. And in the tree view, expand wells. Okay. And then injector. Okay. And then double click on the perf. All right. Can we expand this? All right. Okay. And then let's go forward to the perforation tab and let's add perforations. Okay. We can do it manually, by the way, by clicking on this one, add perfs with the mouse, but I don't want to do that. Instead, I will select this one. Insert before selected nodes. And then, okay, I need to input it first. So one, one and 18. So it means for grid I, it is located at I equals to one, J equals to one, and K equals to 18. So that's the first perforation that I have, okay? By the way, J will always be one because we only have one J layer. And this will connect to surface and status is open, okay? And okay, so well index zero, form factor one. Okay, so yeah, everything is like this. And then like this, one, one, 19 right now and connect to one, of course. And lastly there, one, one, 20, connect to two. It's by the way, a, a vertical well. Direction K axis, status open. Okay, so it's like that. Click on apply and click on okay. So you see if you maximize, you can see CO2 injector there and your perforation is located down there. Okay. K11, K19, I mean K18, K19 and K20. I, I equals to one and J equals to one. Okay. All right. So I think so far so good. And so let's make it. Okay, like this. So this exercise, we built this exercise around the trapping mechanism of CO2. So the trapping mechanism of CO2 will be very, very important in this exercise. As I said before, first we will, in the base case, we will consider only structural trapping, but subsequently we will add hysteresis trapping or residual trapping, and then, you know, solubility trapping and mineral trapping, okay? but the important thing here that we need to note is actually because it is a two-dimensional model and it is the migration and trapping of CO2 that is of interest, the injector is to be shut in after one year of injection. Okay, so yeah, I think you need to know the basic of CO2 sequestration. And yeah, of course the CO2 injection is not forever. Okay, maybe you, you will do injection in one year or maybe 10 years or maybe 15 years, 20 years. But after you complete the period of injection, you will shut your well in. Okay, you will shut in your well and then you just monitor using seismic, logging and others. Okay, so but in this, in this simulation exercise, I will do 
the injection only for one year and after one year i will shut my well okay i will shut in my well okay so of course we will do some modification in the well setting and let's go to the events yeah okay after you double click on the well in the tree view to open the well events under the option here okay options check the status as shut in okay of course we will locate it at 2024 okay so only one year after injection after 365 days let's go to options and status it's not it's no longer open but instead okay click on status and then let's change it to shut in so 2024 January 1st the well will be shut in and all the subsequent dates after this date will also be considered the well to be shut in okay make sure to not click anywhere except on the options tab after selecting the new date okay maintain all the settings except the status especially make the status to be shut in okay so yeah i think that's pretty much it click on okay so you see we have obtained all the green checks there 